What up, guys? Annie Tier Guild Forever going to be reviewing. Um, wait, hold up. Okay, everything's working. So yeah, going to be reviewing. Um, VV episodes five, six, seven, eight, nine. We as of now we are fully caught up to the series. Honestly, this series is a lot better than I thought it would be. At first, I mean, off of episode one, I already know this was going to be, like, a rare gym. But the more episodes I saw, the more I just thought to myself, this series is very well grounded. It's not too complicated. And it's not too simplified, if that makes... Like, it's, it's very easy to understand why at the same time there's a lot of complications involved but not to a point to where it feels like everything is covered in mystery or in riddles i'm looking at you snafu don't get me wrong i love snafu but jesus christ man they talk in riddles let me tell you um so yeah right now i would have to say out of all the series that i'm catching myself up on tokyo revengers um uh, to Your Eternity and Vivi. Out of those three, I'm still going to catch up to more, by the way. There's still other series I want to check out. If there's any other trending series that I don't know about that you guys like for me to check out, comment it in the comment section down below of the redirect video. So, basically this video. Um, What I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Out of those three, honestly, I still hold To Your Eternity as number one out of the currently current trending series that i'm trying to catch up on i still hold it as number one um but other than that vv is definitely up there though for sure for sure animation art plot and there's a lot of plot and no i'm not meaning that in the perverted way you sick freaks so yeah, no, I mean, but yeah, the, like the story is very strongly driven. So far in total, 61 years have passed in total since, I'm assuming since Vivi and Matsumoto started this thing. I'm not 100% for certain. So I think 61 years have passed, which means we have less than 40, 40 years remaining in order to make sure the Singularity Project is a go and we can get things not worrying about a future where freaking human genocide occurs. I still don't know what exactly happens in order for that to really trigger. Because for the most part, it seems like AIs are functioning under the benefit of the human race. So there's nothing, there's no tells that I see so far that really give that a way that would trigger that to happen. But maybe we're still not at that point yet. Lastly, um, yeah, uh... That piece of schnizzle, I was about to curse, but I'm not gonna. But yeah, the guy that's had a crazy obsession with with VV, Diva, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. He turned himself into a freaking AI towards the end of, uh, toward, like, towards the end, towards the end of episodes 8 and, and mo all over episode 9. His reasoning for capturing Vivi and doing all this nonsense is still play. It still plays a confusion in my head. What the hell did he even want it? Did he want an answer? Oh, why did my teacher save me? Did he live like a human? Why did you save me? Yo, you come back or you remain alive just to ask that stupid question? And then, not only that, you got rid of Diva and replaced her with Vivi. Personally, I think uh, Diva had a lot more charisma than uh, Vivi. I mean, Vivi's okay, unless you like that kind of archetype of character in anime. But, I don't know about you. You guys let me know. Who did you prefer? <laughs> it goes along with the question up here also, but... Vivi or Diva, I personally think Diva had a lot more charisma. She was a good character, despite we only had her for like, what? Two episodes? Three episodes? I don't remember. I think it was three. Uh, but yeah, the point is we had her for a little bit, and now she's basically gone. 
I'm hoping though that in the end, Vivi ends up having a personality that develops into Diva later on in the much later future. But we shall see. We're gonna have to wait until we get to that point in the series. Um, yeah, that that guy. Hopefully, he's gone for good. Even though, despite the fact he literally plugged his brain or imprinted himself onto a freaking AI robot just to keep himself living all these years, ay, 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 like. He's 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 like he's like a bad cold. You just can't seem to get rid of him. Hopefully for now he's gone cuz I would hate and I would mean I would loathe seeing this guy had come back again cuz he never learned his le he never learned his lesson and to the end when he actually passed away, I don't even think he still learned his lesson. That's the worst part. He had an end and in the end of the day, he was so petty that he used whatever remains he had left to completely wipe out Diva and bring forth Vivi back into the picture. Granted, this makes it a lot easier for Matsumoto since he's more familiar with Vivi than Diva, even though they're they both they both share the same body, but they have completely different personalities. Diva is more energetic and friendly, while I would say Vivi is like mellow and extremely confused on her existence. She, uh, she's like the emo version of Diva, which is fine. It's whatever. It's just her personality growing over the course of the series, which hopefully she become. I hope that, like I said, I hope at the end of the day. Despite how she is right now, her personality eventually ends up developing into Diva's personality. Which, that shows character growth. And I would very much so be happy with that. Uh, let's time to find out what other huge level threat is going to happen later on. And I will have to say this. Rest in peace, Grace. I feel so bad for that doctor. Dr. Sayaki. Yo, first human AI relationship. <laughs> Not even first human AI like marriage. And he truly did care about her because here's the thing. The guy was abandoned by his mother. The only one he had in his life or the only person that mattered to him was Grace. And what happened? She was robbed from him. Just because she's an AI. She was a human. You couldn't do that to her to save your life. Unless you're a deranged lunatic. But yeah. The man lost so much. And in the end he ended up with nothing. He was so hurt by her loss. That he committed suicide. Which traumatized uh, Vivi. Understandably. Because she legitimately killed um, his lover, and then he was he was in a bad mental state to the point to where he was driven to suicide. I've noticed suicide plays a huge role, like not a well not a huge role, a huge theme in this series. It happened with the two sisters, Estella and uh, Elizabeth. It happened with um, oh, what should I call it? Dr. Uh, Sa Sayaki. And then it happened more or less with um, Ophelia. She looked dead to me. I don't know. Was she dead toward the end? Even though Matsumoto said that he prevented her suicide. I don't know. Was it really prevented? It looked like history still came to be the way it was meant to. From what he showed. I don't know. It's hard to say. Because it... it, it, it the thing looked pretty gonzo to me. So, I don't know. We'll see. Someone explain that to me if you can. If it gets explained later, don't tell me a whole lot of nothing. But still. Very well crafted few episodes. Very good series. I look forward to episode 10 this Saturday. Because I was told that it airs on the same time Tokyo Revengers does. So, 
Saturday, Tokyo Avengers, and uh, Vivi. That's what we're definitely going to be reacting to that day. But other than that, guys, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And do not forget to answer the question up here. And as well as the text written in red up above, the links, the, the full length reactions are links in the description below. They're mega links, okay? So if you want to see the full length reactions to episodes 5 through 9, check in the links in the description below. So you can check all that out. All right. Don't forget to watch the video all the way through or at least try to watch the video all the way through. It really helps out my watch time in order to get the channel monetized. So if you want to help me get monetized and really increase the growth in the channel, you guys really need to watch the video. If you don't want to watch it all the way through, at, at least watch half of it through. You know what I mean? Like watch something because it would really help me out. It does not take more than 10 minutes of your time. Well, technically, we're already over the 10-minute mark. But like I said, you can choose to watch it all the way through or at least watch half. That's the most I'm asking. So, yeah. Um, and as well as if you find yourself wanting, uh, if you find yourself watching my content a lot, you might as well sub if you're not already. But, yeah. Anyway, that's it from you guys. Peace. I'm out.